is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, look who we oh, have. It's a beautiful thing. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taken it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're here five days a week. We go seven and a half a days, seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the, what will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love. That'll make the difference. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 83, NASDAQ up 32, S&P's up 2.5, gold up $5.90, trading at 15.75 an ounce. Silver up 10 cents, $17.56 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 23 cents, $53.00. 24 cents a barrel. Oil numbers came out this morning, folks. Monster oil numbers. They had a build of almost 4 million barrels. Uh, market was looking for a lot less. So, I mean, so oil's really not getting that smoked for uh, the amount of build that we had out there. But 53.25, that's where we're at. You get volume. Uh, oil looks like it wants to get out of the bottom of this consolidation, which is uh, around the $50 level. Notes and bonds. Bottom line, Higher price, lower yield. You have the 10-year right now of 14 ticks, trading 131.01. The 30-year up a full point plus one tick at 162.10. And as I said, they did reject lower price out here this morning. Uh, charging forward once again, the 10-year just broke 1.6. We're at 1.59. King dollar. King dollar is flat out here at 98.027. The euro is at 110. The yen is at 109. And the pound is at 130 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You get the bounce continuing out here. You get volume drying up dramatically. So that is saying the bottom line, I expect we're going to try to test these highs. Uh, it's set up really nice. What I mean by that is this, is that when we came down, folks, on the SPY, it came down with 87 million. It came down with 84 million. Yesterday, we went up with 63 and we're not going to do 63 today. Right now, we're at 30. That's saying, more than likely, I can probably put 20 million in at the close, but you can see the contraction that's happening. Um, after the close out here today, you're going to have a lot of equities that are coming out with numbers. This week alone, 145 equities in the S&P report. Big numbers, too. Um, big equities, rather. Uh, after the... Uh, Close today, what we're going to have out here, you're going to get, uh, let's see, um, for my, today, yeah, okay, so we got uh, MasterCard or McDonald's, let's see, no, Microsoft, Am I, I, my, let me just look at this for a second, was it after the close, yeah, okay, so Microsoft, PayPal, Tesla, um, and Facebook, bottom numbers, uh, big numbers, there's no two ways about that, and we go take a look at uh, Facebook right here. Facebook's already up $5.58. Uh, <laughs> big number. This is at an all-time high. Uh, and when you talk about print money, this is going... Uh, so this is going to be really intriguing. This NDX 100 is going to basically really shoot up. We have Facebook right now. This is pushing into its high with volume. And it's going to be, let's see, 220. It's an ABC up. It's already a confirmed ABC up. So check this out. This is pretty intense. Your B point on this is 222. Your A point is 203, so you got basically a 19 point A to B. So that's saying that 19, 29, 31. 231 is the A to B equals C to D. We're at 223. So that's another 10 points. 
Microsoft, let's go to Microsoft. Oh, this is going to be wild watching this if Microsoft's doing the same thing. It is. So, Microsoft, 168.84 we hit. Okay, Microsoft's going to need more volume. Microsoft might not be an ABC up. In fact, well, we'll see what kind of volume we'll put in at the close. Microsoft would need uh, quite a bit of volume. It, it doesn't look like uh, it's going to get it. Microsoft would need another 9 million shares at the close to do an ABC up. So the way that uh, I suspect it can, it can go higher, but it's not an ABC up. That's, that's the real bottom line. Um, Tesla. Let's go take a look at Tesla. Uh, this is, of course, uh, been on a run, extraordinary run. Uh, Tesla all-time high is 594. You're at 586. And that's, that wants to go test 594 at least. Yeah, that's the way that's set up, man. So if we go to the, now let's look at the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. What you're going to see with the NDX is that we are up 94 cents. You did 20 million shares. And uh, so this is going to be interesting. This, this, we get that, the divergence out here kind of goes like this, okay? Uh, bottom line is that the Qs want to test the high. You're 222 right now. And it looks to me like the Qs will have the same amount of volume as yesterday. Yesterday we did 26 million or 20 million right now. They can put 6 million into that in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. Gold, let's go take a look at the gold market out here. What you have with the gold market, gold market right now, rejected lower price out here this morning, traded down to 1562. You're at 1575. Nice setup, gold is still in a complex ABC structure on the way up with a price projection of 1704. Silver, silver needed uh, a bid. It needs a lot more than nine cents. Silver came down 50 cents yesterday. That being said, what silver did get do today is that it rejected lower price at $17.28. You're trading out at 17.55. It was going right against the strength that was developed out here on December 20. Third, as well as 24th. So silver does want higher price. And note and bonds, this is going to be the number out here. I'm going to do the 30-year first. Um, bottom line, what you're going to see inside this 30-year, as well as the 10, is that the 30-year today came down to 160.27. Bottom line, you're up almost two points from that level. This is a big move. And notes, as well as bonds, look to me like, guess what? We're going to go after the highs once again inside the note and bond market. If you take a look at the 10-year, the 10-year got down to 130.13. That also rejected lower price. Well, man, they look just like each other. There's no doubt. And they went topside. And the 30-year right now, we are at... Uh, 1.586, that's the bottom line, 1.586. So, um, you know, we get the Fed uh, out here. I believe it's the, the Fed meeting was today, right? Uh, they are meeting today with, let me see. Yeah, we'll, we'll come right back with that. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the markets, folks, the bottom line is that you get higher price out in the Dow. The NASDAQ, S&Ps just went into the red. Uh, basically, it's down one. Coming right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. 
The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now uh, up 50. Nasdaq's up 19. S&Ps are up uh, one and a half. So yeah, the Fed, folks, uh, basically left uh, the benchmark uh, unchanged. Uh, they're going to extend their repo uh, operations through April. Uh, what Powell is talking about, he's speaking right now, actually, uh, is that uh, he says, let's see, uncertainties remain, including the coronavirus. Uh, he's looking that there's no decision made yet about a standing repo facility. A standing repo facility, folks, would be a permanent one. That's, that's how that would shake out. Uh, he's saying that the virus uh, is likely to disrupt uh, activity in China. Uh, that's for sure. Um, labor force participation in the United States uh, is picking up once again, uh, so that's, uh, that's, a, that's a good number. They're concerned, uh, well, he's certainly concerned uh, about the aspect that the inflation is still staying under the, what, where they'd like it to be. And I suspect more than likely uh, what, when he was coming out saying that, there's a question and answer period that's going on right now, when he's coming out and saying that, that's what probably would likely put a little pop uh, in uh, the gold market uh, and let's go, just look at the the bond market was already up. The, the gold market, yeah, see the bond and, and, and the, the bonds, bonds also moved. It was up, but bottom line, right at uh, 2, 2 o'clock, 2.30, uh, this thing stopped moving topside once again. Uh, so there is no doubt that uh, we get some action in the debt markets. If we go over to the TLT and look at the 20-year, the so this is the 20-year plus ETF structure, uh, bottom line, Six million shares, you get volume behind the move, you're at highs. This wants to go to its all-time high, I believe it's 148. Let me just pull this back a bit. It is, yeah. And this, see the way this is set up, this looks to me, let me pull this back much further. It, it looks, you know, when I do a price projection off this, we, we broke this consolidation, top of the consolidation is 143.62, and what ends up happening, even in a conservative basis, I could take the top of 143. Look at this, man. This is crazy. Because if I do a price projection on this, you're talking 114. You're talking that the TLT go to 175. If the TLT goes to 175, we will be very... Let me see the correlation. Let me do the correlation. Let me do it this way. I'm going to go to the 10 year for a second because I can't, I don't know what that means if it goes to 175. I mean, meaning I'm trying to calculate the rate, but I, could, I can calculate the rate another way too that I can get a much better understanding. 
I'm, I got the 10-year yield up. We're at 1.58. If I bring this back, put this on it. Okay, so what happens when I do it this way? So this is telling me that the rate, we're going to go back to 1.3. And let's see if we break that. Oh, I did this before. I remember this now. Yeah. This brings us, it doesn't bring us negative, but it gets really close. 1.3. Yeah, hey, we'll, we'll take 1.3 for right now. Because actually what this is saying is that if this did break the 1.3, we'd it's saying you go negative, which is pretty amazing. But that's what it's set up for. Let's go to George in Tampa. Hey, George, what's going on? Well, it's going real well. Good. Tom, would you, would you have moved down if this weather was up in Boston? I'd be I'd be moving down here ASAP. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you should see our weather right now, folks. It's amazing. There's no doubt. It's like just absolutely amazing. I know. It's it's been a nice winter, no doubt. Yep. So far. Yeah. Uh, I would like for you to look at uh, BTG. Okay, let's take a look at it. This is B2 Gold. Um, the low is two dollars and forty cents. The high is four forty six. They do a lot of business in. Uh, America, Asia, Africa, and Europe. Uh, this is, this used to be, this used to be BGO, which is pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. it's the same management people. Yeah. I know, and now they're, so now they're in Mali, which is, so, so Mali, folks, that's where they take the most amount of money in, right? Right now, they take in 1.2 billion a year. Mali is West Africa. That's where some of the best gold is uh, at inexpensive prices. They do 560 million there. Philippines 230, 280, Nibia 213, and Nicaragua 108. Okay, so the low for the year out here is 240. The highs 446. Now, do you own this right now, Judge? I took some profits, and I'm looking to get back in. Okay. But it's been, it's been so strong. I, I got strong. a bid in for 378 but I don't Yeah. You know, I just want your opinion. Yeah, this is strong. I see what's happening. Okay, so it's going for, going for the highs of 458 You get volume. You broke that consolidation with volume. Okay, so let's do this this way first. Three, the top of the consolidation that just broke was 360 Wow, that's three bucks, man. I think this is an ABC. I'll do three bucks off of this, which is 510. This thing looks like it's going to 510, Judge. Um, I, 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 that's why I'm undecided. I guess go ahead and get it now or try to wait for a retracement. Uh, you know, yeah. I didn't know if it might hit the 398, but I got the bid in at 378. Right. I, yeah. I mean, the way you could do this, look at that spread just. This month, I know, 376 to 446. It's it's a it's a tough one, meaning that you know, <laughs> I know what you're saying. Yeah. See, what we're talking about, folks, is that just in the last few months, the stock has gone from 240 in six months up to this 429. But it looks to me like it's going to blow away this 430 and really run higher. Um, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm afraid of. That's what okay. it looks like. So you know, listen. The bottom line is that you could. You know, do a third here, and, you know, basically you wouldn't get a, a, the full position that you want, but if you did a third, you know, let's say you're going to buy 300, buy 100 here for 1,000, you buy right. 333 or something. Because um, the way that the market is really set up today is kind of intriguing, because we had that note and bond market, you know, reject lower price. Um, gold is looking good. I mean, the last time that gold was up here, what did happen is that it didn't have enough volume and it kind of gave it up, you know, which, you know, it's not doing that today, but we gave it, we gave it up on spades on Monday. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, uh, w one other quick question. Um, this doesn't have it really any overhead resistance. That's correct. So how do you, how do you calculate that? It, what you do is this. So this, that's a great question. That's what I had just done with this. What ends up happening? is that this is an ABC structure up. See, I put this on a weekly, George, right? First, I, mm -hmm. I think I put it a weekly or monthly. One second. I can put, I'm not, I put I'm it not on a monthly. It's a monthly so ABC up, which is really impressive. It's a, it's a monthly. So I, what I did is this. I took the, yeah, it is too, the, the month of uh, August. 
That broke top size. See, it bro broke that uh, 364. 364 at 133 million shares. It took it out with 195. So uh, 360 is your B point. 60 cents is your A. That's at the $3 A to B. And your C point is you add $3 to 210. That's where I got the 510. Okay. Yeah, that's where I got but it. Then, it, it. It's pretty what impressive. What I was referring that, to is above that. <laughs> no, I understand. I, I, what happens above that, then bottom line is that you could take the full top of that, which is 450. Uh -huh. hey, just stay, stay right there, Judge, okay? Come right back. Quick break. Okay. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN has developed a daily programming lineup for traders by traders. We start every trading day live at 8.30 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien hosting the morning market kickoff as he starts the day off by breaking down everything you need to know about what's going on for the trading day ahead. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento takes your calls and questions live on the air for the opening bell as he hosts Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the Bull Bear Trading Hour. At 11 a.m., it's Kevin Hanks and Alex Coffey from TD Ameritrade Network with Fast Market, Basil Chapman at noon with the Tiger Technician's Hour, Steve Rhodes hosts the Trader's Edge at 1 p.m., Dave White with the Power Trading Hour at 2 p.m., and Tom O'Brien closes out the day for the final hour of trading live from 3 till 4. Don't miss a second of our daily programming lineup. Tune in to Tiger TV every trading day live at TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up by 89. Nasdaq is up 30. S&Ps are up 2. We're talking with George. We're talking about um, uh, BTG. Uh, which is uh, B2 Gold Corp. So what you can do, George, after this breaks top side, right, is that mm -hmm. then the next price projection is you take the very top of the whole consolidation, which is 450, and then you take the bottom, which is 60 cents, and you'd say that, okay, that can go up an additional $3.90 over the 450. That would be the next price projection. Now, because that's on a monthly, that would be a much longer price projection, but that's how you do it. Okay. I You're in good shape, it. though, man. This is, this is strong. This is strong, okay. man. Yeah, I was going to try to put it on 30 minutes, see what it was doing, but 
Okay. I really appreciate it. Okay. You have a great one. Have a safe one. <laughs> now, folks, let's go over to our man. We got a great surprise out here today. Who are we going over to? Our man, Mr. Larry Pezzavento. And don't forget, folks, Larry, every trading day, great program, 9 to 10 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Fibonacci 24 by 7. Now, right now this afternoon, 4 to 5.30, he's going to be doing a subscriber workshop for all his subscribers. It's very easy, folks, to be a subscriber to Larry's 24 by 7. The way you do it, you come to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right under featured content, you're going to see 24-7, Fibonacci 24-7. You hit subscribe. You can get Larry's newsletter for one month for $97. You can get it for six months for $4.99, which is a savings of $133 or 22%. You can get it for a year for $7.85 which is a savings of $369 or 32%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So you get everything to win, nothing to lose. And on top of that, you come into his workshop tonight, which is at 4 o'clock. And we're going to be talking with Larry right now exactly what he's going to be doing. Larry Pesavento, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Yourself? Uh, I'm panicked, as usual. The oh, technical not difficulties. <laughs> and hey, listen, folks, okay, you know what's so cool? Larry's got a great show anyway, but I just, uh, the, what has happened, though, but, you know, Larry goes to uh, Hong Kong quite a bit. Uh, he's been showing pictures about, you know, what is happening over there, and it is pretty amazing, Larry, that those, between how these, they can get so creative make, making their mask and no one on the train, I was, like, looking at it yesterday morning. I was hard yeah. to comprehend that. It makes sense, but it's really intriguing, as you said, that even the trains at midnight, uh, you couldn't get a seat, right? And no one's on those trains. Yeah, it's empty, Tom, and the stores are, the malls are empty. I mean, it's really, people are very scared over there in some of those cities, and and I, you know, rightfully so, because yes. it's in the news all the time. You can't buy a mask. Surgical masks are impossible. They're hard to buy in the United States. Over there, it's impossible. Yep, wow. Yeah, we tried to buy some for our family over there, and it, it takes a th uh, three-month delivery, two- to three-month delivery. Amazing. Yeah, who okay, knows what's so going to happen. Okay, so let's talk about, what are you going to be teaching tonight, Larry? Mainly, it's the 200-day moving average crossing the 400-day moving average. I've <laughs> He's a joker. Folks. No, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> no, I've, we've, we've done some mathematics of the ABCD pattern. Uh, we've looked at uh, just about a million uh, pieces of information. Yes. And it's, uh, we've got something that really uh, helps define risk and why it works. And then the main thing that I want to cover is because of my friendship and relationship with Tom Hugard, one of the best traders I ever met, I want to show folks how he trades strong trending markets. And nice. uh, we're, we're getting ready for strong trending markets, Tom, you know, both up and down. And so I think the folks are going to be uh, looking at it. I'm not going to do much with the uh, – in fact, I'm not going to do anything with Gartley's or Butterflies. I will cover the 135 pattern uh, extensively. But this is mainly uh, to talk about strong trending markets, risk control, and the probability and risk of ruin and expectancy. Those are the things that I really want to cover to show people – the mathematics behind it, and it does work. It's just a matter of uh, you have to be prepared for drawdowns if you're going to be doing something like this. That's what it's really all about. That is so cool. And, you know, folks, you know, Larry's been a Fibonacci and patent recognition expert for years. Uh, and it's really cool when you take a look at what he's talking about and it's so consistent. You know, what I, that's what I love about what you do, Larry, okay? The consistency is pretty amazing. I mean, because we know that it's the patents, it's the FIB numbers. Um, mm -hmm. And what I always, and I know I think everyone's in awe of the aspect of, like, how does a Fibonacci expansion contraction hit these numbers when you start talking like higher numbers too. Do you know what I mean? It's like, right? Yeah, it's, it's truly amazing, Tom. It, uh, I see it every day, and yet I'm still amazed. I know, man. It's, it's, mm. it's, it's so cool. And, folks, so it's very easy to, to come in the workshop. And if you can't make it right now, you got to remember something, folks. We've got great technology. The, the workshop's going to be archived. So bottom line, it's going to be on your page. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You go into featured content. You're going to hit subscribe. It's going to get you a great newsletter. Well, actually, let's talk about the newsletter a little. I mean, because... You know, the bottom line is that we, we had it up this morning. Um, and inside his newsletter, folks, which is so unique, um, he does videos. He sends videos up. So can you talk a little bit about the newsletter, Larry, that, you know, what you do every day? 
Well, Tom, you know, I follow about 12 markets really actively. You know, the bonds, uh, stock indices, gold, crude oil, uh, the grains when they're really moving really good, and uh, British pound, euro, dollar index. And uh, when I see something, I can quickly go in and pull up a chart and do a two-minute video explaining what I think is going to happen. And they've been very, very accurate, especially in the gold market. My goodness, we've been uh, really been doing well in the gold market and the crude oil market. We've been very bearish crude oil. And uh, even in the stock indices but what they are they're looking at the shorter term patterns so that you're able to get in without very much risk because if you're looking at a daily chart these days in the S&P or even gold or crude oil you know you have to be able to define your risk and this is what the uh, the videos help and you know, of course I work 24 7 so sure. <laughs> yeah but in, no I'm not doing as much as before but I, I send out usually one to three videos uh, every day on what's really active and what's really happening yesterday the one that we focused on was the platinum and the gold uh, the very strong support at uh, 1561 in the gold, and it's had a nice rally of $15. The bonds looked like they were ready to go up, and uh, that's happened. And we thought there could be a sell-off in the stocks, which has been a little bit, not very much. But those are the ones that we're focused on just about every day. That is so cool, Larry. So cool. So listen, folks, real easy to do. Come over to our website at TFNN. Hit that Fibonacci 24 by 7, hit subscribe, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you're going to get a great workshop, hour and a half workshop, if you really want to understand, you know, the Fibonacci, the expansion, the contraction, as Larry said, how are you going to come into uh, strong markets, right, strong trends, pretty cool, man. Yeah, well, I think it will be, I think they're going to enjoy it. I love it. Listen, man, you have a great one, a safe one, and of course, we'll look forward to the workshop in 20 minutes, Larry. Yeah, keep that yacht out there in the dock for me, buddy. I'm gonna uh, listen. Those bonds <laughs> won't stop, man. It's hey, isn't it crazy though? It, listen, man, I agree with it, Larry. I this move today, man. This is crazy, man, because the bottom line, we both know, it. It looks like 1.3 is going to be on the agenda again for the 10, and if that's the case, it's like okay, it's, it is what it is. But man, it's they're like the ever ready we bunny, live, man. We live in interesting times, my friend. Yeah, we do. We do. Well, listen, man, it's always a pleasure. So great having you on. And can't wait for the workshop in 20 minutes. Okay, thanks a lot, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, trading up 75. NASDAQ's up 29. S&P's up one and a half. We'll come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now at 45. NASDAQ up 19. S&P's down 2.5. Let's go over to the oil market. So oil, folks, had a monster build out here today. Uh, almost 4 million barrels. Bottom line, you know, oil's not getting uh, hurt as much as it could, could have. Uh, you had a price spread out here today of $54.37 as the high. Uh, 52.81 is the low. Uh, this is going after the, the lower end of consolidation, which is this $50 level. So I expect uh, we're going to see that baby get down into that level in the next few days. Now, what's going to get so intriguing is that what we do have also is that you have the aspect of the Exxon as well as Chevron uh, coming out with their numbers. I believe that uh, Exxon and Chevron are coming out on Friday. Let's see. Yeah, they're coming out on Friday. So right now, uh, you have Exxon at a 52-week low. Uh, it hit $63.90. I believe Exxon had already broken. Yeah, Exxon had already broken its consolidation. And this is going to be big trouble for Exxon because uh, we've been in this consolidation from August of 2015. You get a break. You had a break with conviction, and what that would set up, let's get this back a little. Yeah, you're setting up, man, that's a heavy number. You're setting up 56. You're at 64 right now. That's, that's pretty intense. So they're going to be looking for, yeah, and if you break the, so check this out. So the 56 is a high volume spike from 08. So that's going to get tested again. And if you break that, then you, you really get big trouble. I mean, because right now, Exxon, we're, we're trading at levels that was at 2006. Uh, Chevron is in much better shape, meaning it hasn't come off its highs as much. That being said, uh, it looks like it's in a tough situation right now because what you have is that you're going for the bottom of this consolidation. The bottom of the consolidation is at 107. You know, uh, no, yeah, 100. No, it's 100. And you're at 110 right now. In both cases, um, bottom line, it looks like lower prices are coming at us and uh, coming at us uh, basically fast and furious. You want to hear something that is like the greed inside of some companies is just amazing. Okay, we know the opiate crisis uh, just killed so many people. Well, what just happened is that, you know, they just came out, uh, this just came across, so in some, in one of the trials, uh, the government uh, got this information anyway. Listen to this, folks. This is sick. So health records company pushed opiates to doctors in a secret deal. The name of the, the drug company, I believe the name of the software company, folks, is Practice Fusion. Uh, and the way this worked is that uh, doctors opening patients' electronic records across the United States, and uh, the alert would have looked, would alert would pop up, okay? And, and a pop-up would appear. Now, check this out. This is in a doctor's office. Um, asking about the patient's level of pain. Then a down, a drop-down menu would list the treatments ranging from a referral to a pain specialist to a prescription for an opiate painkiller. Um, you click the button, and the program would create a full treatment plan. Now, listen to this. We know how long this has been going on, which is a long period of time, because in Florida, folks, okay, we had so many pill, they called them pill mills in Florida. And I couldn't understand even, like, 
why they didn't get shut down earlier. But the bottom line, they got shut down a good maybe five years ago, at least five years ago, okay? But they've been going on for five or ten years. Like, you, you go by these places, you've seen lines out inside of the street. I mean, people were screwed up. Bottom line, you know, no doubt legal drug dealing, but they, these, between the pill doctors and the pharmaceuticals, they're, they colluded and that bad scene. This piece of software, this has been going on since 2016 to 2019. Okay, and listen how many times it, it, you click the button, the program would create a full treatment plan, and the alert went off 230 million times be, in three years. 230 million times. The tool existed, this is what the government's saying, in a secret plan. The, its maker, a software company called Practice Fusion, was paid by a major opiate manufacturer to sign it in an effort to boost prescriptions for the addictive pain pills. Uh, even though the overdose, even though overdoses deaths had almost tripled during the prior 15 years, creating, of course, a public health disaster, the software was used by tens of thousands of doctors' offices. Its existence was revealed this week thanks to a government investigation. Practice Fusion agreed to pay $145 million to resolve civil and criminal cases, according to the documents, uh, documents filed in the Vermont Federal Court. Practice Fusion has admitted to the scheme with an unnamed opiate maker, uh, though the details of the government case closely match a public research partnership between its Purdue Pharma. That's, uh, they don't know it yet, but when, you, when they pulled up the deal, it's Purdue Pharma. Pretty sick, man. Representatives for Purdue Pharma in the Vermont you know, U.S. Attorney declined to comment. Uh, bottom line, let's see, healthcare software company, All Scripts, which bought Practice Fusion for $100 million in 2018, said the statement that the conduct predated the deal and has further strengthened its compliance with Practice Fusion. The whole thing is, like, sick. It, what blows my mind in this whole deal there is that uh, you, you have the aspect of... Uh, 2016 to 2019. Let's go to our man Peter in Park City. Hey, Peter, what's going on? Hey, not much, Tommy. Uh, real quick, uh, I wanted you to go back. Uh, you were hitting on the uh, bond market. Yes. And, you know, the S&P is 50 points off its high, yet, you know, you've got the 10-year at 1.58. Um, if this uh, coronavirus starts to affect uh, global manufacturing, I mean, I mean, we've got to get some hit in this market. If this market takes any hit, I mean, are we looking at, you know, sub one in the tenure? That's, this is what, this is what's so amazing. It looks to me that we're going to go after this 1.31. 1.31, folks, was established in July of 2016. Now, technically, if we break this, <laughs> that is saying that it's going to go negative because it would be an ABC structure on the way down. 3.25 is your A your B is 1.4, so 1.4, actually, yeah, one, that's one, yeah, that, well, hold on one second, 1.4. 1 1.8. 1 so, it's, and then we're taking that off of, oh, yeah, that's where I did this before. It, it's, and we're taking it off 1.97. So, it is, like, that would stay positive by, like, what, one-tenth of one percent? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's amazing. I mean, but that's how this looks to be set up. And, you know, folks, when you, when you, when you take a look, like we're talking about with Larry, Larry's going to be doing a workshop. Well, if you're watching Tiger TV right now, you take a look at this chart. This is a monthly chart of the yield. This thing didn't even bounce. I mean, you know, we were at 3.25 in October of 18. We get down to 1.4, and then it bounced to 1.9. That's, that's so weak, it's amazing, folks. So uh, the probability is that that's where we're going to go. And, you know, I, I, we'll see whether... It, it's, hard, it's hard to comprehend, really. That's, that's the bottom line. I mean, but it, it I, 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 guess, I guess that's what... Yeah, stay the right there, Peter. We're coming right back. Okay, you know, quick break. Thousand forty-eight okay. NASDAQ's up 18. S&P's down one and a half. Come right back. I'm certain you 
are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found the computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 32, Nasdaq's up 14, S&Ps are uh, down 3.5. We're talking with Peter from Park City, uh, talking bonds. And, yeah, th this yield, Peter, I mean, the bottom line is that they just keep buying bonds, and this thing looks like it wants lower price, man. Um, you know, I see you're just bringing something up in the den. That's pretty cool. So uh, on the coronavirus, what is, is it every night at 8 p.m. that the uh, uh, Eastern Standard Time that China comes out with uh, the news? Uh, we lost him, I guess. Yes, thank you. Okay, cool. <laughs> He's still in the den. I love it. So this is good news, folks, okay, just so you understand. Uh, we have a trading room, too, so Peter is in there. But uh, every night, uh, 8, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, um, they, uh, they come out with the amount of cases that are out there. So uh, the bottom line is that, that this has been going up exponentially. And, uh, you, you know, what you, what you do have is that the, a lot of the airlines now have stopped flying to China flat out, which is pretty amazing. Um, you know, British Airways uh, is putting the kibosh on it. United's putting the kibosh on plenty of flights out here. Um, this is serious business. There's no doubt. There's no doubt about it. Uh, they were at 9,000 now, right? Uh, I believe that's what it is. Maybe it's at six. Bottom line is that uh, it's serious business. When we take a look at the markets out here, what you have is this: you had the downdraft. Uh, thank you. It's 9,239 right now. 9,239. Thanks, Peter. Appreciate it. So what, what has happened in the market is this. News comes out. 
you go downtown, and you go downtown with volume. S&P's out here. You started the bounce yesterday. Nice bounce. Yesterday, you did 63 million shares. We're only at 42 right now, so they'll throw 8 million in here, but you can see how you can, you're contracting. That being said, guess what? I don't think this thing, this bounce is over yet. The reason is that when you do look at Microsoft, um, Microsoft right now looks to me like it's going to bust all-time highs. You're up 279 right now. They're coming out with numbers right after the close. Tesla wants to bust all-time highs, so the NDX 100 wants higher price, folks. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit us right here tomorrow morning. Uh, Tom kicks us off 8.30 in the morning. Have a, have a safe one, folks.